the 13 on your sidelines protector of the week sponsored by Rand's insurance group there is 100 percent of competition as to who can be louder and i'm it's pretty 50 50 right i now. would say so too we've already shown you highlights from coopersville versus allendale but we're not done talking about the broncos quite yet we're recognizing the coopersville offensive line as our 13 on your sidelines protectors of the week last week the broncos jumped out to a 34 nothing lead over holland christian before winning 34 22. coopersville rushed for 264 yards in the rain and cold the broncos have rushed for 2,000 yards this year and they're averaging just shy of 40 points per game. We've told you that before that senior offensive lineman Gabe Van Sickle has committed to play Big Ten ball at Northwestern next year. Aside from him, the starters on the offensive line are Jay Rogers, Ethan McAdams, Will Decker, Austin Shotko, Ben Burgess, JJ Herdez, and Juan Montayo. We stay in the OK Blue, where Hamilton hosted Spring Lake tonight. The Hawkeyes needed to get a win to keep their playoff hopes alive. Spring Lake already a playoff qualifier, but a win for them might secure home field in the first round. Real slugfest between Hamilton and Spring Lake going into the second half one score game. Spring Lake driving down the field as Ren Dephouse has a nice run, stopped inches from the goal line. And then they would capitalize. Reed Grimmer falls into the end zone that gives Spring Lake a two score lead. Hamilton wastes no time though, driving the ball to about the 50 yard line, only to hand it off to Ben Boehm who makes an impressive 50-yard scamper as he breaks tackles, comes out of that pile, and he's going 50 yards for the score. Touchdown Hamilton on the two-point attempt. Got to give it back to Boehm as he's going to punch it in as they try to close the gap. Nice stiff arm there. This guy is tough to bring down. Now, this game was a one-score fair or one score after another, but this play for Spring Lake, 25-yard pass, to Jackson Lemon that really helped put it out of reach as even with the last second touchdown for Hamilton they would get on the board it wasn't enough to secure the victory Spring Lake wins 47 to 38. Cedar Springs was another team on the outside looking in tonight as far as the playoffs go. And if the Red Hawks couldn't beat Forest Hills Eastern, it's a good bet their season would be over. Like many other playoff bound teams, the Hawks are hoping to host their first round game with a win tonight. First drive of the game for Cedar Springs. The Red Hawks find the promised land. That's Caden Dreyer who scores from 10 yards out. The sector point makes it 6 0. First FHE drive, they take it down and fire their first pass here. It's Mark Fuhrer to Drew Patton and Patton deserves a pat on the back for the 14-yard touchdown. Hawks go out in front 7-6, but here come the Red Hawks in the second quarter. Dylan LaFonsi gets the hands off and says, see me go. The senior finds Pater from 32 yards out. Cedar Springs retakes the lead. It's 12-6 after the failed two-point conversion. Four Sills Eastern responds and all that mess at the goal line. It's Max Ferrick who punches it in and the Hawks are back out in front. It's 13 to 12. This one was tight the entire way, but Forest Hills Eastern ends up on top in this one with a 27-20 victory to improve to 7-2 on the year. We got more teams fighting for a playoff spot coming up after the break. Comstock Park and Nuego square off, each hoping for one of the final spots in the Division 5 playoffs. And an upset win over Byron Center would help Northview assure themselves a spot in Division 3. Could they pull it off? 